Hey guys, Billy here. Today I want to do a special review on this Airbrick Smart Vent Register Booster Fan. Now, I was gifted this and I was compensated for this review. Uh, it doesn't change what I say in any way. Everything we're going to talk about is my own experiences. I'm going to give you my honest opinion. And what I'm going to do in this video is I'm actually going to go over what this does, how it works. I'm actually going to give you a demonstration so you get an idea of what we're looking at. Now, in a nutshell, what this does is it enhances HVAC airflow for heating and cooling in bedrooms and other other rooms in the house. This has a three-way aluminum grill for optimal airflow. You've got air going all different directions as you can see. It's got a customizable LED display here. It's got an adjustable thermostat, whisper quiet fans as you can see right here on the back. You've got two separate fans right here. This basically can blend in in any environment. Now in order to use this, it's only compatible with a 4x10 register hole. So you got to make sure that you have 4x10 in your house to be able to use this so that it will fit properly. Now, as you can see, it comes with a remote control that you're able to use to be able to control the thermostat wirelessly right here. And what I love about this is basically, in a nutshell, you are upgrading your HVAC register with this air brick. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and we are gonna install this thing so you can see exactly how the installation process works. I'm gonna go through all the different settings so you have a good idea how this works. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're at this vent. This is where I've got a big issue with airflow. Barely nothing ever comes out. We've got everything laid out. We're just gonna talk about installation real quick. Now, obviously you gotta make sure and have the battery installed into your controller. This is your wireless controller. Of course, it comes with the instruction manual. Make sure that you read over that before you get started. And you got your power supply here, and then you got your unit here. Now, before you get started, obviously you've got to make sure that you measured and already established that you have a four by 10 register available. It has to be at least four by 10. And we're gonna be replacing this, which basically does nothing. Then you need to establish where is your power supply? Is it to the right or is it to the left? Now for this specific area, it's gonna to be to the left. Now we have a bit of a problem. The actual power supply is going to the right. So what does that mean? Well, don't worry about it. Airbrick already thought of that and we can actually reverse it. As you can see right here on the right, we have the ability to have the cord go out that way or you could simply just have it go out this this way and that's exactly what we're gonna do. Now I want you to notice these little pockets here, there, and there. You're simply just going to push down on each of them until they go inside of each and then you're gonna pull it out like so. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put the air brake uh, booster fan inside of the register hole. Now as you can see everything is good to go and everything fits perfectly. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and unwind your power supply and get it ready. All right so now we've got everything plugged in and as you can see all of the LED display just came up. Now automatically what it's gonna do, as you can see, it's gonna go to the current room temperature, which is 71 degrees. Now, once you plug it in and you're thinking, okay, why aren't the fans spinning? Now the fans are not going to automatically spin and it's either because your HVAC is not currently running or the temperature at the register hole hasn't met the fan temperature yet. And so that's where we're gonna come in right now. Let's go over a couple of the settings. So what we're gonna do, of course, we got our power button here. Now let's these are the settings right here. Let's go through a couple of settings. This is the current temperature. That is going to be the set temperature for heat where when it reaches that degrees, it's gonna automatically kick the fan on to be able to keep this specific room at, at the heat temperature that you want it to reach without putting your HVAC system into additional work. It's gonna just take over. So that's for heat. This is for cool. Now, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and set it to 73. And as you can see, it just kicked on because I've already reached the room temperature right here, I've just set it on 73, which means it's going to automatically kick on. And that is going to do something so amazing. It is going to keep air blowing into this room and where the HVAC system is not working as hard to get air conditioning into this room, or if you set it for heat. Okay, so that's for AC. This is going to be your fan speed. I have it on five, go up to seven, eight, and I want you to listen. Now, I don't know if you can hear that, but that right now that's a 10. And now it's gonna go back to zero. The higher you go, the faster the fans are gonna go. So I usually like to keep it at about four or five. Let's go to the next setting. This is going to be your display setting, how bright you want your display. Let's go down, go down to one, and then you go to zero, there is no display, but it is still running, all right? So let's go back. As you can see, you're able to adjust that. Now you don't have to use your remote. You can also do everything manually. You've got your plus minus, your settings, and your power button right there. Now, 
Now, I do want you to note that the product works right out of the box. As you can see, that's exactly what we did. Now, if you're wanting both the fans to just be on consistently 24 hours a day, you're able to set that. So the triggers are automatically set to 85 degrees for heat, 60 degrees for AC, which means the fans start running only when the temperature of the duct is higher than 85 or lower than 60. So between these default temperatures, fans don't run. If you want both fans to run consistently, just put the heating and the air temperature at the exact same and both fans will run consistently. It's extremely easy to use. It is right out of the box, ready to go. Uh, this thing is absolutely amazing. All right, welcome back. So as you can see, we went through the whole installation process, showed you how to use the Airbrick Smart Vent Booster. And to be honest, the problem for me personally is definitely because we have certain rooms in our house where there is not optimal airflow. It's where it's much weaker in those few rooms than the rest of the house. This is the perfect solution. And the reason that I highly recommend this is because it is a product that actually works. Uh, it's very professional, very well designed, and I definitely highly recommend picking this up.